Jurgen Klopp has built a dynasty at Liverpool since his arrival at Anfield in 2015. He has been praised for bringing in the likes of Virgil van Dijk and Alisson to the world-famous club. But he hasn't always had the Midas touch in the transfer market. There have been some signings from Klopp that simply haven't worked. In this episode of TTM Sports Football Shorts, we bring you Jurgen Klopp's Top 5 Worst Liverpool Signings. Number 5. Stephen Corker In Klopp's first transfer window as boss in January 2016, the Reds were in the midst of yet another injury crisis at centre-half, but nobody could have predicted the man Klopp would bring in to fill the gap. QPR Stephen Corker would cut his season-long loan spell at Southampton short in order to join the Klopp revolution at Anfield the remainder of the 2015-2016 season. But incredibly, the former Spurs, Cardiff and England centre-half would feature just three times as a substitute for the Reds, and amazingly, not even at centre-back. Klopp would use Corker as an auxiliary target man off the bench. Unsurprisingly, Corker's loan was never made permanent, and he can now be found playing in Turkey as a defender for Alanya Sport. Was worth a punt, Jürgen. Number 4. Dominic Solanke In the summer of 2017, Dominic Solanke joined Liverpool on a free transfer from Chelsea. Highly rated Solanke, who was part of the England Under-17 World Cup winning side, however, would again fail to make any impact at Anfield, scoring just one solitary Premier League goal in 21 games. Despite this record, the England manager Gareth Southgate gave Solanke his England debut against the mighty Brazil. Again, after failing to live up to the hype though, Klopp would ship him off to Bournemouth in January 2019 for an outrageous 19 million, where he would go on to have a run of over 12 months without a goal. From a business sense, unbelievable. From a football sense, woeful. Number 3. Takumi Minamino Another January signing, this time in 2020, Japanese winger Takumi Minamino. After Minamino and Erling Haaland tore Liverpool up at Anfield while playing for Red Bull Salzburg, Klopp had seen enough to trigger the modest £7.25 million release clause for the man who holds the Guinness World Record for most high fives in a minute, with a whopping 187. Although he would be part of the famous 2019-2020 squad to capture Liverpool's first league title for 30 years, Minamino has largely failed to impress, restricted mainly to substitute appearances and League Cup games. It looks like the Japanese winger doesn't quite have what it takes to make an impact at Hamilton, and in January 2021, he would be loaned out to Southampton in an attempt to kickstart his Premier League career. It looks like a gamble that hasn't paid off by Jürgen. Number 2. Nabi Keita Jurgen Klopp dipped back into the Bundesliga market in 2018 to sign the highly rated Nabi Keita for £52 million from RB Leipzig. Arriving a year later with huge expectation and given Steven Gerrard's number 8 shirt, Keita has never been able to stay fit long enough to make any real impact at Anfield. His three-year stay at Liverpool has been stop-start at best and has seen him make just 50 Premier League appearances. Keita has been a peripheral figure as part of the most successful team in recent years for the Reds, way down the pecking order below the likes of Oxlade Chamberlain and even Curtis Jones. It looks like patience could be wearing thin for Klopp, where his former record signing is concerned. Another case of injuries getting in the way of potential. Number 1. Loris Carriers Yet another signing from Germany, this time from former club Mainz. Klopp would splash out £4.75 million on young keeper Loris Karius in the summer of 2016. It wouldn't take long for Karius to get ahead of the unconvincing Simon Mignolet as the undisputed number one. However, over the next 18 months it would be Karius himself who would fail to convince. After a series of errors leading to the Reds dropping points in the Premier League, he would, though, save his best comedy moments for the 2018 Champions League final in Kiev versus Real Madrid. With the score at 0-0, Karius would roll the ball directly onto the foot of Karim Benzema, 
to gift Real the lead, before having wrists made of Weetabix to let Gareth Bale's speculative strike through him for the game-killing third goal in a 3-1 defeat. Carius would suffer the customary toxic social media treatment, and the rest of his time at Liverpool has been spent out on loan at Besiktas and Union Berlin, respectively. Another sad end for a promising career on Merseyside. Can you think of any other Jurgen Klopp signings that haven't made the grade? Then leave your suggestions in the comments box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to keep bringing you great football content. See you next time on TTM Football Shorts.